Hey guys, take a with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue if your contact photo and poster here is disabled. As you can see on this iPhone, I have this option where I can't click on it and it's iOS 17. It just doesn't work for me. So a couple things here on how to fix this. You're going to run through these troubleshooting steps. The first one is making sure in your settings that you're signed into your Apple account here if you're not already signed in make sure you click on it and sign in here with your apple account now once you're signed in the other thing you want to go ahead and check in your settings here go down here where it says messages and make sure you already signed into your messages as well as you can see here i'm signed into apple id but not messages so i'm going to go ahead and sign into my apple id once again here so once you're signed in you're going to look like this screen here one thing I recommend after you have signed in to this, you want to go ahead and click on where it says share name and photo and you'll be now able to pretty much share your name and photo for your contact photo and name. You're going to hit continue here and then you can start customizing whatever you want it to look like. You have initials and you have these emojis as you can see here. It's available for you to go ahead and select and then customize even your personal photo. You can choose that as well. So that will work as well and then you can do all this customization right and then you want to click on update here and then you can change your name and the font and the color of course and you get the idea here it's pretty much the same here and then once you're done you'll hit continue and now you will get to the screen which allow you to name and photo sharing you want to ensure that is on contact only or you can always do it to ask doesn't really matter as long as this is turned on and hit done here and now it should work for you now in the case that you can't select this i notice sometimes you can't select this go ahead and sign out and sign back into your apple account id so in order to do that you're going to be in your settings you're going to click on that go all the way down here and then you're going to sign out of your apple account and then sign back in and then go back to the messages again one more time and this time hopefully the share name and photo will be working for you and you can do that. So that's gonna be one thing to do. And now if we go back to our contacts app, I click on that, as you can see here, now it's not disabled any longer. I can click on it, it's working just the way we want it to. And then you can edit it from here as well. Now, if it's still not working, the other thing you wanna do after you signed in and signed out of your account and check that in the messages, name and uh, contact share is on. You wanna go ahead and force restart your iPhone. So in order to do a force restart, you're gonna see the volume up and volume down, not the new action button, but right here, the volume up and volume down. You're gonna click one after another. So volume up, volume down, one after another, and then hold this side button on your phone here, just like that until the screen goes completely black. As you'll see here, it will go completely black and then we're gonna wait till it goes completely black and then the Apple logo will reappear and we'll let go of that button and we're just forced restarting the phone meaning shutting down the phone completely reloading the code so if it's a software related issue it will fix that a problem for you and hopefully after that you'll be able to use that so after you get back on go ahead and check in your settings again under messages this time same exact thing you want to click on that and see if you can access that and then turn it on now the other thing i notice here for some users is that if you're using two numbers right to use the same iMessages account you need to select only one number under send and receive for your iMessage here i'm just using my email but i see for some users that might have like a personal phone or work phone or another secondary line you want to select one number and deregister the other one there's a video on how to deregister your iMessage from an iPhone number we'll leave a link for that as well but you need to select only one number as well so it doesn't interfere Right now, I think that's a limitation from Apple. Hopefully in the software update, it is fixed. And getting to the software update, also make sure that in your settings here, go to general software update and download the latest software update as Apple is constantly pushing out these new updates to fix this issue for some devices that are having the issue. So go ahead and check if there's an update. And if there is update and now, give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes and also make sure your phone is 50% or more and see if the update also help you fix it. So that's it for fixing your contact uh, being disabled and I hope now it is working for you. If so please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.